Hey Odoers, today I'm going to show you how to quickly log expenses with the Odo Expenses app. Now typically logging expenses can be a real struggle, especially when employees have to fill out paper expense forms. And let's just say Sally from accounting is getting real tired of telling people where the forms are. Fortunately, Odo's Expenses app accurately tracks spending and manages employee reimbursement. With Odo Expenses, each employee can easily snap pictures of receipts for their expenses. That way receipts never get lost. Also, thanks to the total integration with Odo Accounting app, you can guarantee that every dollar is always accounted for. All right, enough chit chat. Let me show you how this works. So this right here is the main dashboard of the expenses application. It displays all of my personal expenses along with their current status, which we can see on the far right over here. So first, let's check our settings by going up to the configuration menu, and then we wanna select the word settings. Kind of self-explanatory there. So since I have incoming emails right there activated, Odoo automatically creates expense records whenever expenses are emailed to this custom alias that we have down below. Now, that means no more paperwork. It's beautiful, isn't it, Odooers? But up next, let's check out our expense categories by going once again to the configuration me menu, expense categories. I don't know why I had an Odoopsie there. Anyways, inside of here, we want to select the one that we want. Let's click on mileage. And that's gonna take us to a closer look at what typical expense category form looks like. So for this example on this expense category form, you'll notice that we reimburse employees a fixed amount per mile over here that is driven. So when reimbursed, the employee receives exactly a dollar and 25 cents. That's pretty, actually pretty good for every reported mile. And that's defined inside of this cost field if you wanna change it. And that's pretty straightforward. Anyways, let's go back to our expense categories once again by clicking on our breadcrumbs, which today is Wonder Bread. Now, let me show you how to create a new expense category. So to do that, we're gonna select new up at the top left, and we're gonna name this one, in our case, hotel. Seems like a pretty grand category right there. So I'm actually gonna leave the cost field at the default zero because it's gonna be defined later when the employee is creating the expense using this category itself. Now next, inside of the internal reference that we have over here for this field, let's do an all caps hotel, just because it makes it look more important. So this field is used when creating expenses by email, but more on that later. And you obviously know I'm gonna demo that. So down here in the re-invoice expenses area over there, you can actually re-invoice expenses to a customer. You have the option to do it at cost and sales price as well. If we select sales price right there, that allows users to add a margin to the cost and the sales price field appears inside of the section above, which is kind of nice. But I'm actually gonna select at cost, just cause that'll make it easier. And it's important to note that entering a non-zero value inside of the cost field prevents expenses from being split for that category, but more on splitting expenses later. So up next over here where we have our accounting section, we can add an expense account for the category. Inside of the expense account field over here, the default expense journal has already been added, but it can be modified at any time. Now, additionally, you can also specify any vendor or customer taxes as well if needed. But since I don't want to include taxes for this particular category, I'm actually going to delete that 15% one that we have right there, just inside of the customer taxes field for now. So down at the bottom, we also happen to have internal notes. I can enter a description. So let's type in work-related hotel expenses kind of makes it easier. Okay, now let's go back to our expenses dashboard by clicking on the word my expenses and then my expenses once again. Thankfully that auto save because that's very magical for us because at the top over here, we can actually see how much money and expenses we need to submit as well. And right now it happens to be zero. And then what was submitted and being reviewed is under the under validation area over here. And that'll always give us our nice total. And then finally, what is approved moves on over here to be reimbursed. So let's create some new expenses so we can get that number up from zero to whatever. So let's say I just got back from a business trip to San Diego. That means I can expense that hotel and meals. So first, let's take care of the client lunch that I need to be reimbursed for. For that, I'm actually going to click on the word scan that we have right there. And this happens to allow us to select my restaurant receipt, which I had already saved earlier because I'm very, very smart with this. And you'll notice immediately once that I do that, it takes us over here 
And did you see that, O'Doers? I hope you didn't miss it. My expense record for the Taco Palace is right here, and it took us there, and the file name populates the description as well. And today's date has automatically appeared inside of the expense date as well. But I'm going to show you how to modify that in a second. Okay, now, let's actually click into here, just so that I can show you some other cool stuff about it. And you'll notice, our receipt is right there on the right side. And that's pretty cool. Now, let's slightly modify some fields while we're here. So, for instance, let's change the description to, say, in this case, 5 slash 1, 2024. Now we get the right date. Dash client lunch San Diego. That'll be more specific. Let's also update our category field since this is for a meal. So this isn't other, this is food. And now we're set. So up next, we need to enter the total. So let's update the total to what it actually says there, which happens to be $40. And 25 cents. Wow, those are expensive tacos. What did I order? Yeah, tacos. 10 tacos. Okay, let's actually add our expense date moving forward, which happens to be on the receipt, and that makes it kind of easy. Our expense date is May 1st. Perfect. Now, since I paid for it and need to be reimbursed, I'm going to make sure, in our case, that the employee happens to be the person who gets reimbursed over here. Okay, with all of that ready to go, let's go back to the Generate Expenses page via the breadcrumbs. So let's click onto that. And we can actually just exit out. Anyways, in this list, the expense on the first day of May is the lunch that we just uploaded, and we could see that right there. That was really convenient. So you remember earlier I kept talking about that email alias? Well, now I'm going to show you how to add an expense via email. So here we are inside of our email tab, which is already open to my personal email inbox. And you'll also see that I've already saved this time by drafting a message. So you'll notice that I'm sending this to the email alias that we saw earlier on the settings page. Now the subject has our expense category and a total $550. And I already attached the receipt down at the bottom as well. And that's all that you're going to need. No message required. So let's hit send. So back over here on the My Expenses tab, as you'll notice, there it is, our new one right there, our new expense. So as you can see, the category and the total as well were automatically updated. Makes it really nice thanks to our subject line. So let's click into that right now. So the very first thing I want to do is update the description. So in our case, I want to type in the same thing as before, which happens to be the date as well as what it was. So in our case, it is Hotel San Diego. And I'm noticing something immediately right now for specificity. Let's update our expense date, which happens to be the first once again. And there we go. That's all set. And the thing that I noticed immediately is that this receipt has two expenses on it. One for the room and one for the meeting room that I rented for a client presentation. And that's no worries, though, because I can use the split expense feature, which happens to make this pretty easy. So I'm going to click that right now. And let's change some of this, because by default, it's going to split the total expense directly in half. But don't worry, I can make edits because it's not going to be half. So let's change our first line's description. First things first, I'm going to expand this out just to make it a little bit easier. So the very first one that we have over here, we're going to name it Hotel Room San Diego. So that'll make it a little bit easier to determine what it is. And we're done there. But let's also change the total for this one. And this one happened to be, I don't know, $250. And let's click out of there. And you'll notice immediately, the total amount on the bottom has changed to red. And that's because something isn't adding up. That's because right now my total amount and original amount aren't matching at all. And that's quite nice of Odoo to double check my math. Sometimes it could be off. So let's go fix that. First, on the second line, I'm going to change the description a bit because this happened to me the meeting room. So we're going to call that meeting room. Should make it a little bit easier. And then for this one, I'm going to change the total once again to 300 dollars for the meeting room somehow it was more and would you look at that my total amount is now back to a very nice normal color because now they all match and it's no longer red and since everything is good to go i can now split the expense by clicking split expense and there you are we're all done and if i go back to my main expenses dashboard over here it'll show me all my expenses including the new ones and they're perfectly split and that's pretty cool congratulations though doers you now know how to log individual expenses as well as splitting them. It's super easy. Be sure to tune into the next tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create and submit expense reports. 
So see you there. Go grab a snack.